Welcome back, everyone. This is Eric Ellen playing the Final Quest V, Zack to the Future. Last time, after some unfortunate technical difficulties, we finished Switch It Up, which is one of those Switch puzzles where when you change one thing, it changes everything next to it. This time, let's continue into the Pit of the Pendulum. Head over to the Time Portal. With this fairly decent effect. It's not quite as nice as Kerner Triggers, but it gets the job done. By Aldrin Sky. Okay. We have a bit of a filter on the... Okay. This rock gives you a feeling of warmth and reprieve when you touch it. I think this might be stock music. I'm not sure. There's a campfire here. Looks like it's containing the sustained burn. Mysterious flooding crystals. Okay. This looks like maybe me progressing through time. So I'm guessing the bottom is back in time, the top is forward. So it looks like we started with the cave, then the got uh, kind of, yeah, kind of got excavated, built up into a castle looking thing, then that fell into disrepair and yeah, rock is just a rock. We have a lot of rocks that have the same description in here. Unusual amount of moss that is extremely sticky. We have some spelling errors, but that's okay. Yeah, anytime you're making something, always have a second pair of eyes look it over. A check for that sort of thing. And to make sure it makes sense. So I found that some of the clues in some of these puzzles have been a little too obtuse for their own good. Like, um, the one with the, uh, spectral photography thing. There was that one part of it where it says to get the oil to the funeral pyre. And you kind of have to guess what each of those actually are. Okay, so it seems like there's nothing of interest in this time period. Except for the mossy rock and the campfire. So let's go next time period. Yeah, here things are a little... Uh... Well, the rocks are starting to fall apart, but we've got some stuff built up here. We've got a locked door. There's some crystals behind it. So this is inhabited at this point, and not just with a campfire. Okay, we have kind of an implied story and progression of events here, but... So far, I have no idea what we're actually supposed to be doing. All right, we have a bucket that is empty. The rocks have the same description as always. The torches do not have a description. Oh, the spot where we arrived appears to be a bedroom now. Okay, we have a quok with these 130. That may be important. So we'll try to remember that. Clock making, architecture, and fiction. Nothing helpful to your situation. Too bad, I kind of wanted to make up, take up clock making. And maybe we could fix the clock, assuming it's broken. Not much here, and it's mostly fiction. Another bedroom. Yeah, this is lived in and starting to be built up, but it seems like the only thing of interest is this, and we don't have a key. So let's head further into the future. Yeah, this. It looks like some kind of... I don't know, maybe not a castle so much as like a ritual site. But it's much more built up. We have fully paved, we have carpets, we have beds. Arcane lore. 
Solberg. Morph crystals. Transformation into statues. Organisms that inhabit the caves. I can manipulate them to do what I want. Should be able to transform them into anything. Okay. Great crystal. Tremor. Tall turn asunder. The crystal had some kind of energy. So I'm guessing that's the time warp crystal we've been using. 245. There's a chest here. Let's see if we can open that. Looks like a pile of chunk. There's a book near the bottom. It is a journal belonging to Aaron. That's a lot of chapter. Okay, journal and bag. Date unknown. Portal. Left on November 12th. Two weeks after Karen's birthday. Is this going to be important? Maybe inescapable and uncharted cavern. Trying to survive and search for escape. Mapping out the cave. Enough to start a fire and forge for food. So this is apparently from the first time period. Grand Golan water found in nearby underwater spring. Rocks have unusual properties and a strange energy. But they seem to recoil if I touch them with gloves. Some kind of biological essence. They may be alive. The spring has dried up. It's now a barren chasm. These rocks... Rubbing them around the screen caused water to appear. Must be in a certain order while wearing gloves. Okay. Yeah, I should take note of this. Uh, north, south, north. West, west, east, south, north. Okay, that's noted down. Uh, more people arrived. They look just as bewildered as we did. It is nice to have more human company, although I feel sorry for them. Searching for an escape should become easier. Construct a better shelter. Yep. Construction plans. Skilled architect. Another person arrived. Miller, a mathematician and clock maker who brought a clock. And perceive things others might not. The clocks have a sort of trigonomic aesthetic. Clocks big time, time brings creativity. Two rooms built. The rocks form very easily over fire and give us the material we need. Small tremor. Storage unit. Okay, that's probably the locked door. Yeah, there's some locks. Three keys. Spare in a secure location. Store gloves in there. So the gloves will be in the locked room, but we'll need the gloves for something. Solberg claims he is a scholar, or seems to be a scholar, claims he is not at liberty to discuss it. Here by mistake, this may be a rip in time. Crystals he found, light yet terrible. They exist outside of time. Solberg seems intent on collecting them. A faucet system being constructed over the spring. Plumbing faucet. At least a year since we arrived, more people every day. People, books, library. Yeah, there's a lot of text in this one. Dripping from the faucet. Soothing pattern, drum-like, bubbling brook. Steady pattern. If it ever stops, I need to turn it on and off again. Great hall construction, easy access to plenty of rock. The food we gather from access points is as plentiful as it always was. Another tremor. Solberg seems more worried than everyone. Probably this place is unstable. May have to do with the time shenanigans. Tremor is getting worse, water getting warmer. Sometimes scalding, Solberg hasn't found anything. Efforts to escape still fruitless, even Karen is starting to panic. A bizarre thing happened in the worry in the cave. The crystals became statues. The statues portray a goddess, not even Solberg knows which one. Muttering something about an old tome. 
arrange them in a circle in the middle of the great hall. If only I had some of that cave moss. Symbol in the ground, North Cave Wall collapsed with explosion. A portal would translate it to the intended destination. Finally, our escape is at hand. A tome contained the information. The statues were from a goddess from an ancient religion that worshipped the world. It's fond of geometric shapes, especially circles, the goddess of time and growth, but was neglected and became angry and decided to punish people by keeping them here until they honor for her. Evil failed, it was forgotten about. Sober can only speculate how he got here. Okay. The tremors are caused by the world falling apart. Try to seal off the escapes and I'll come. Spear King locked in the chest in the storage room. Next pays mission. Okay. Build a barrier to safeguard the place from being trent. Well, that obviously didn't work. Okay, so we're learning things. I'm not sure how useful they are, though. Yeah, does Silbert Nudes have anything else of note? I don't think so, except more background. So let's also note what the clocks say. So time period one, the cave didn't have a clock. Uh, time period 2 was somewhat built up and it was 1.30, I think. Uh, time period 3, which is this, is 2.45. And the, mentioning where the numbers point may, or where the hands point may also be significant. So yeah, this is sealed off. The pots are full of water. The bucket is empty. Yeah, it's off, so we hear nothing turn on. And turning it on has no effect. It's probably broken. Nothing helpful in that bookcase. Are any of these helpful or are they just decorative? Wait. If you need the scare key, the Pagnock Miller uses... Okay, spare key is Karen's birthday. Key, padlock, Karen... And that was noted somewhere in the journal, wasn't it? Uh, nothing there. And nothing there. Okay, so if I head back to the journal, I think that mentioned Karen's birthday, so that seems it will be important. Uh, chapter 1. I'm going to have to go through this whole thing. The date, November 12th, two weeks after Karen's birthday. So two weeks before that is one week before the 5th. Um, so 5, 1, 2, 3, 4... November 4th is... Or, yeah. Twelfth is two weeks, so 14 days after Aaron's birthday. Uh, October has 31 days. So, uh, the 30th? Yeah, let me just bring up a calendar. One moment, please. So, yeah, November 12th, October 29th. So either 1029 or 2910, depending on which. But yeah, apparently they time traveled on purpose trying to find stuff about the past. And I think we need to do a thing with the rocks to make the water flow again. But to do that, we need the gloves, and the gloves are locked in the spare room, or the storage room. And there is a mention of a padlock, but I didn't see anything that was padlocked. 
Uh, maybe if I check here now, it will say... Nope. It's just locked. Okay, continue into the ruined version of this. Yeah, you can see it's falling apart. There's holes and stuff. There's uh, rubble and whatnot. Parts of it are blocked off entirely. That looks like lava over there. Obviously, the escape passage is broken. Yeah, the door is there, but we can get through it. Spoil goods and junk. Nothing. Nothing. Spoil goods and junk. Okay, we have a padlock here, so... Let's try 1029. Small silver key. Okay, so that's the spare key. It's been here all this time. Good that we have it. Uh, the clock reads four o'clock. So, yeah. The ruins... Person, the clock is four o'clock. So it looks like it's advancing an hour and 15 minutes each time. That may be important. Which implies that the first time period would be 1215. Again, don't know if that matters. No, it took damage. I don't think it matters, but... Interesting that that is a thing at all. And I guess, theoretically, you could run out of health. Uh, was there another more future after this? Yeah, massive crystal. Let's not touch that at the moment. Yeah, actually, go ahead. What happens if I do? Okay, I can make the energy more or less intense. Still can't move those. The silver key works. Box contains mostly food. Clothing and tools, mostly food. And of course the chest is where we can't get to it. Of course. Does this work now? I'm thinking not. Oh, nothing happened. So, yeah, let's take this to the past. That touch was missing a C. Yeah, the top area had the doors blocking it in later time periods. Yeah, this is where the spring was, apparently. But nothing happening there. Can I do anything now? I got the key. I could push the crystals. Sturdy brown gloves. So I can use the gloves to... Yeah, the rocks give me a strange feeling of bitterness now. They don't like the gloves. So yeah, if I go into the past, I should be able to pick up the moss. Off of this rock. Excellent grip. Yeah, the rocks no longer like being touched. Was there anything else in this time period? I don't think so. Yeah, just the thing where we arrived. There was also that thing, uh, north, south, north, west, west, east, south, north. Right, there was a... Uh... Yeah, these, I think. 
Yeah, because we have a north, a south, an east, and a west. So, north, south, north, west, west, east, south, north. Oh, there's our water. And it interrupted the music. But if we head back to the future, hopefully the faucet will work now. Or no, that's in the next time period. Also, I could do something with the gloves, apparently. Yes, I can pull these now. I expect that's important. Yeah, these turn into statues, and we wanted to arrange the statues in a circle, right? But let's not put that where I can't see it. For now, let's pull them out of the locked room. I must say, it is refreshing to have a moving things puzzle where you can pull in addition to pushing. Okay, so... These were the rocks. They changed into train tracks somehow. That feels like a glitch. Because yeah, weren't they... Uh, or maybe it's because of the... Yeah, because of changing the things in the future. The intensity of that one... Uh, uh, future crystal thing. Let's see if I can put this where I think it belongs. Or at least figure out where these are relative to the stuff that's there in the future. Okay, so this is in the right spot. This I want two over. And I think that's the right position to have a circle. Looks good. The rhythm, I think we also need to know. Turn it on. Peculiar pattern of drops, you listen closely. Alright, I could barely hear that. That was on, on, off, on, 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 off, on. Not sure where we use that, but it does seem important. All right, let's set this back to strong version. And the statues are now statues. That looks good. The doors to the north have opened. But... You can't do anything there. Is there anything we could do there in the future? I think it was all collapsed, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so to try to organize my thoughts, if I set this back to go version, that turns the crystals from statues into railroad track looking things. Which I think I can position over here to give myself a bridge. Still not sure what that tapping is for or whether the... Uh, yeah, the rhythm of the faucet and the times on the clocks. I'm not sure how those are relevant, if they are. Okay, let's see what that did. Okay, those I need to move down a row. And then there's another spot over there I need to bridge. But yeah, if I come over here... Okay, both of those need to move right one. So I can go across here and find out where this goes.
that did nothing. So I'm guessing this is where we need the pattern from the drops. Okay, and that's why there was a delay after flipping the lever. Um. I guess this relates to the clocks? So, the time here is 2.45, so... That's, uh, 30, 60 degrees. But there are four gears, not just... Zero ninety one eighty. Yeah, what am I trying to do here? Maybe the times that are missing that we don't have the clock source. So the first one will be twelve fifteen. So fifteen minutes is ninety degrees. Twelve would be zero, and that the future should be. 5.15. Oh, wait, the description is maybe Norse. Well polished and looks brand new. Grimy, but almost new. It's starting to rust a bit. Okay, this is probably where the numbers it's pointing at matter, so for 130 it specifically said they're pointing at the 1 and the 6, for instance. So for 12, 15, they'd be pointing at the 12, or no. Why are the, how do we fix, put these two things in here? Uh, the 12 and the 3? Is that how it goes? So for 130, they'd be pointing at the 1 and the 6. For 245, they're pointing at the 2, and 45 is the 9. And here it's 4 o'clock, so... Four and the twelve. What does it say when I look at this clock? Or in the future, rather. Also, I'm belatedly noticing that the music changes in the different time periods. The four and the twelve. All right, so how do I enter that in a gear form? Do I enter that in a gear form? There's a missing page. That might be important, but where is it? So each of them were building a thing, so... And the clockmaker would have been the last one. Yeah, this is... I guess he's the one who set up the thing with the moving the crystals around. 
He had the water drops we got. He enjoys observing clocks because they have a trigonometric asset. Is it the angle between the hands? Okay, so at one or twelve fifteen, there would be the twelve and the three. So that's a ninety degree angle. At one thirty, we'd be at the one and the six. So that's ninety plus thirty plus three. Ninety and sixty is one fifty. And that would be why the angle is constrained to 0 to 180, because that's as far apart as the hands can be. Uh, 245, so 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 30 is 150 again. And 4 o'clock is just the 12 and the 4, so 120. That did it. Okay. So what's up here? Just the way out? Massive portal line with pillars. Energy is getting nauseous. The corridor was unstable. Either this thing will send you back on your quest or tear you apart very painfully. Well, only one way to find out. Looks like we did it. Okay. That was... Pretty clever. Definitely an actual puzzle. With exploration, uh, information gathering, experimentation, multiple steps. Yeah, I like it. That feels like the kind of thing you'd see in, uh, you know, King's Quest adventure kind of game. Zero Quest, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. That was a long puzzle, so that's going to be it for this time. I'm probably going to edit out a lot of walking around and arranging things, but yeah, for now, this has been Airfilm playing Befuddle Quest V Zack to the Future. Uh, we have, I believe, two more puzzles left, and then we'll see what happens in the ending, but if they're as long as this one, well, we'll find out then. Until next time!